Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, collectors of all ages. Uh, back with another PC Mail Day video for you guys. Um, this one is brought to you by a guy on Twitter that I follow. Uh, his handle is called Offbeat All Stars. Uh, funny, uh, funny Twitter handle follow. Uh, picks out random cards uh, with kind of ludicrous um, images or um, blurbs on them and uh, writes up these small things which are pretty funny. Um, he does stack sales from time to time, uh, mostly junk wax, so uh, I decided to take part one weekend. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, finally got it in the mail a couple days ago, so this is a little bit um, a little bit overdue, but uh, like I said, I, another kid on the way and one right now, 15 months old, so things are a little hectic from time to time, so I tend to get behind schedule. Uh, with that being said, we'll go ahead and start looking at some of the cards that I picked up from um, uh, Offbeat All Stars, otherwise otherwise known as um, uh, Brian Bourne. Uh, nice guy. Um, he uh, even um, DM'd me with a couple things that he didn't have in a stack sale and uh, sent them my way, along with some extra goodies as well. And I'll show you those. So we'll get into what I actually purchased. Um, so a nice uh, Fleer Ultra Prime Time, a nice Fleer uh, Mark McGuire. It's a nice uh, kind of like a parallel, almost uh, Gold Cup Jose Canseco uh, reprint, of course. So I like that. I mean, I like Jose. So most of these are all PC type cards that I got. You know, a few cents on a dollar. I think like 25 cents each, some of them. I think the Judge was probably 75 cents. But the Jose Dunner's 4040 Club. I don't have this particular uh, Judge, so I was happy um, that he did. And uh, he was able to get it to me. A couple of matting leaves. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I did have this one, but I'm building out uh, for my PC, but I'm actually building out a 90 donor set. So it was nice to be able to get that again. And I have never had the 5000K as one, so I was glad to get that. And two David Justice rookie cards. And then the number one draft pick Jim Abbott card, which is very nice. I like that card. A little offset, but it's very nice. I love that. Of course, you know, you, you guys know my addiction to sport flicks. It's all the way good for 25 cents. Had to have it. Uh, a couple of Reese Hoskins to add to the PC. And a nice Alec Bowman. Bowman. He'll go on my uh, Phillies binder. Nice Gypsy Queen Brandon Nimmo. Uh, my guy Bernie Williams. I think this was a throw in. I don't, because I already had the complete set of Michael Jack, and I pretty much have a, a few of these, but I think he tossed that in for me as well, because I, I picked up this Dunruss from him. And then adding to my Delino PC some more. You saw the uh, previous video um, from I Draw Baseball Cards, Mr. Mark Mosley. You saw that he sent me a hefty stack of Mr. Delino DeShields. I just noticed that. This was a traded card too. That's nice. And then the nice score rookie. Love this. And Bowman. And Delino ones with the Dodgers. And Dunner's Highlights 91. And I don't know if I picked these up from him or if he just sent them to me. I can't remember. Um, but a Steve Young to add to the 49ers binder. And the Jerry Rice. I, I Actually, no, I think I picked these up from him. And then I got a, a super stack of Randall Cunningham's. Uh, just because he was like, you know, outside of Joe Montana, he was like one of my favorite favorite players. 
favorite quarterbacks. Nice stadium club. Wish the Eagles would go back to that, uh, the old, uh, it's not Kelly Green, I don't think, but I wish they'd go back to those old, old unis. Pinnacles. And a lot of these, a lot of the Eagles ones, this is the ones he DM'd me about. I really like this one here, Bowman. Because uh, I picked up uh, this Vikings one in the back. So, Pro Set one. I like the dual image. So, so in, in a little bit of basketball stack here. Not, not very often you find guys selling carry Kittle, so when they are, I jump on them. One of my PC guys, I like him a lot. Uh, I don't collect Jason Williams, but I just thought, you know, the very cool card. This is actually, his number here is raised, has texture to it. Uh, really nice foil. Old school unis, white chocolate, um, just a nice card. I figure I'd pick it up. I don't have that much of a basketball collection besides, you know, the Sixers cards that I have, and of course my Eddie Jones super collection. But had to get my main man Barkley here too, favorite player of all time. I'd have more of a collection of him if they weren't so expensive. But I was able to get a few for the cheap. You know, I like the foiling in his name there. Actually, with the Suns. And then I was able to, uh, to get some more Eddie Jones for the collection. It was just nice to be able to. Okay. It's very hard to find um, things like um, Eddie Jones. Like players. They're not obscure per se, um, but they're just not high in the radar for someone to like want to collect everything of theirs. Um, and it's just, it's hard to find stuff within my price range, of course. So it was nice to get another medium stack of uh, Eddie Jones cards that I can add to his binder. Same thing with uh, Marcus Lattimore, it seems like uh, you know, a lot of his, especially football, a lot of it's all tied into relics. And, you know, even even Marcus Lattimore never played, you know, a down in, you know, the NFL um, due to injury. It's still, you know, you're looking at 2 3 $4 a pop of card. And, you know, it kind of adds up. So it's nice to get, you know, cards that, you know, it's not, Nice to be able to grab four cards for a buck, you know, to add to your stack and collection. So, we'll definitely uh, thank uh, Brian for that. It's always great, too, to get your guy in his uh, college uniform. So yeah, surprisingly, uh, Offbeat All Stars here had uh, quite a few Eddie Jones. It was it's a nice little surprise. So it's greatly appreciated, and my collection will definitely appreciate it. And then we get into uh, somebody that um, I didn't really appreciate when he was there, uh, but then when he left and went to Denver, I was like, oh man. Um, it really sucks that he's gone. So luckily, uh, Brian had a bunch of AIs that I was able to get. Um, so to help bolster my collection of him and my Sixers cards. So the rest of these, I believe, are all Allen Iversons that he was able to to send me. So. 
So nothing like outrageous or whatever, just nice pieces for me to be able to finally have in my collection. Some nice foils. Slick card. I like that one a lot. The flare. The pass around the back. Alan Iverson. And then he also sent. Um, it's weird. I don't know if I mentioned something on my Twitter feed or whatever, but I'm actually building out a set of 1990 flare and 87 tops. So he sent me extras. This is nothing. I didn't, you know, claim any of these, but. It's nice to have to help f flush out my my Fleer set um, that I started. So, I mean, you got some good players in there. It's hard to pull a bucket. Um, I know he was finishing out this set here by Tops. I think this was this 90. Yeah. Uh, so I guess these were some leftovers. He knows I like Tim Wallach, so it was nice for him to send me that. I'm add that to the PC. Mel Hall, I collect Mel Hall too. Um, but I have a whole complete set of these 90 tops. Um, also, um, the score 90s, I'm starting to have a set of score that I'm working on right now. <laughs> so, I, I married, maybe I, I said something on my timeline about when I was going through my um, binders and, and going, re going through my boxes again. Um, like, man, I really want to finish off some of these sets here. So might have said something about what sets I was doing so um, big thank you to him for that help get me a couple cards closer to completing them um, so yeah right now I'm in the middle of I mean if you guys follow my channel you know that I've been in the middle of uh, breaking open these 87 hobby boxes so these are nice these will fill some holes here too so but that's it short uh 12 minute video um just want to show you what uh brian sent me uh, offbeat all-stars please give him a follow uh it's a big thank you to him and uh, the next video will probably be uh, another pc mail day just two quick cards to show you guys and then we'll hop back into the 1998 bowman so all right i uh, hope you enjoyed i uh, hope you guys had good mail days as well um, have a good rest of the week. Be kind, be safe, and we'll see you on the next video. Good night.